G'day guys, Blake here with another video and I'm sure you've heard me talk in the past about Rapashi gel foods. A food that you make up with some boiling water, you basically create some fish jelly but it's nice and soft so it's easy to, to digest and there's all sorts of different recipes available for a huge variety of fish. So when I heard that there's an Australian made version that comes straight out of Wollongong in New South Wales, you know that's something that's definitely going to pique my interest. So today I'm going to compare Fuzzy Fox gel food to Rapashi. I'm going to make it up, we're going to do a feeding and I think it should be an interesting video. So by the end of this video, you'll figure out which one you want to go with, whether it's Rapashi or Fuzzy Fox or none at all. So let's jump straight into the video. Okay, to get started, we have three different flavors of uh, Fuzzy Fox gel food. We've got the xylovore mix here, which is gonna be great for your omnivorous plecos. Insectivore mix, great for all community fish. And then we have the spirulina mix, which is gonna be great for your veggie eaters like Mbuna and so forth. I will let you know straight up that uh, Fuzzy Fox did provide this to me free of charge, but there's absolutely no list of demands, no list of things I need to say, and all the opinions are my own. I wouldn't sign up to anything that compromise my integrity. So uh, throughout the video, any comparisons I do or any information that I say is from my own brain and uh, yeah, there's nobody pulling any strings in the background. So I think the best bet for these guys here is uh, we'll talk about a bit of a comparison of the two. I'll make it up, we'll feed it out and we'll let the fish decide if it's good or not. So in terms of what I've got here at the moment, I've got Spawn and Grow from Rapashi and I have another one called Igapo Explorers Mix, which is similar to the insectivore mix, but I didn't think it would be a fair comparison. So I've brought up uh, the ingredients from the uh, insect, uh, the grub pie from Rapashi. We'll compare it to this. I have used it before, so I think it's a good uh, comparison to start with. So I'll put the two ingredients list on screen now. As you'll see, they're in incredibly similar, which I actually think is a great thing. First of all, I really love to see black soldier fly larvae as the prime ingredient. A lot of uh, insect foods these days have it as a kicker and that's for a reason because it's in incredibly great for your fish. It's super high protein and really lean and uh, overall it should be included in a lot of fish foods. In terms of the mixing direction, pretty similar. So Rapashi recommend a one to two or three parts mix and this uh, Fuzzy Fox mix recommends a one to 1.5 parts mix. However, this 65 gram container here that I've got recommends 120 milliliters of water. So I'm gonna mix it up with that, which is essentially a one to two mix, which is really great. We don't have to melt our brains down with all of the calculations. So basically we can go off a one to two part mix, which is within the ballpark of what each recommend. And cost wise, if we go off a cost of 700 grams, then we'll have to buy two of these 340 gram containers of Rapashi, which at the moment in Australia is about 60 Australian dollars. So $120 for uh, 700 grams of Rapashi. And luckily Fuzzy Fox actually sells 700 grams of insectivore mix on their website and it's $99.95. So about 20% cheaper on this stuff, which is really good. And as I mentioned, this comes straight out of Wollongong, New South Wales. So, you know, I'm always all about supporting Australian businesses, especially in the fish hobby. So the other thing I wanted to mention with this is it's kind of cool. So we've got a 65 gram, I presume this is a sample pot, but you can buy it in this quantity. You can also buy it in 200 grams and 700 grams. So for reference, this is a 340 gram container, which I keep it in the freezer and it's probably lasts the best part of six months to a year, depending on how regularly you feed it. So this 65 gram sample pot here, I think it's really cool because I often get in trouble making up Rapashi because it absolutely stinks. Uh, you have to choose, choose a time where your spouse is not at home uh, because you get in trouble dirtying up all the Tupperware and everything like that. Whereas this here is so convenient that you just make it up in the pot, I believe. So we're just gonna add 120 mils of boiling water and mix it all together. And it's so convenient. You can throw it out after it's done if you like, or if you are really resourceful, you could probably use it for something else. But uh, you're not gonna get in trouble stealing all the containers out of the cupboard or the good containers, whatever that means. And you can just uh, keep it nice and neat like this. 
I'll probably keep it in the freezer, but um, first of all, we will mix it up with the boiling water. We'll let it set. I'll probably cut it up into cubes and then we'll freeze it because after that, it makes it incredibly hard to cut it up once it's frozen. So no more talking. Let's go ahead and make it all up here. I'm going to make all three up today. We're going to feed all three up today and we're going to see what happens in the end. So um, without any further ado, let's, let's go make this stuff. Alrighty guys, so it's the next day now. I've had these gel foods in the fridge overnight. So they're nice and set now, just like if you were making jelly or jello. Uh, couple of tips as well. If you do buy a large container of it, uh, I recommend making them up in these silicon ice cube trays. They're really easy to uh, portion out that way. You can just pop them out and keep them in the freezer. It's very convenient. These ones here are probably a bit big for what I feed, but I mean, you'll be able to know from um, whatever your stocking is, how big you need. You can definitely get way smaller ones. I've shown that on the channel before. But yeah, if you're not, if you're not buying one of these single portion containers, then this for me is the way to go. Other than that though, um, when I was mixing it up, I did notice that this was a bit more texturized than Rapashi, which I actually don't mind. Uh, it's good to have a bit of variety and roughage in the diet. So um, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. The last thing to do, is to go along and put some of this in all the tanks and uh, we'll see if things are going to eat it. So uh, let's uh, find out. So there you go guys, really, really happy to report that everything was eating this stuff. Everything from shrimp to plecos to live bears to CPDs and angelfish and their fry. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, overall, I think gel food is really, really important to start to feed to your fish. You can also modify the recipes by adding in uh, certain vitamins or other ingredients to bulk it out as well and make it even more cost effective. You can play around with it and have heaps of fun. And uh, just so long as you don't anger your whole house food, household because it does get a little bit stinky, especially when you're adding boiled water to sort of insect meals and fish meals. You can imagine what it smells like and double that and it's probably around about the ballpark. But regardless of that, uh, it's easy to keep it in the freezer and keep it for a long term. And it's great for digestion and fish health. And you'll probably notice some more vibrant coloration. So I'm really, really happy to finally have an Australian alternative to Rapashi. If you can get your hands on one or the other, you certainly can't go wrong, especially if it costs you 20% less to do so. So uh, really huge thanks to Fuzzy Fox for sending me out 
some samples of their life of their uh, gel foods really appreciate it and i'm really really happy with the results so i'll be continuing to feed that uh, for the near future so if you like the video it always helps me to smash like hit subscribe and all that fun stuff if you have tried it before or if you are keen to try it let me know down below i uh, always enjoy seeing those sorts of comments and other than that uh, look after yourself and i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching Thank you.